When laying out your point of sale menus, the first step is to set up your menu pages if you've not done so already. Your menu pages are basically groups of general item types. Their names and layouts depend on your type of business and your personal preference. Please keep in mind that you can set up as many menu pages as you would like, but a maximum of 14 will only be immediately available on the menu pages bar. Additional menu pages can be set up on the pages among the item buttons. These are called sub-menu pages, and with them, an unlimited number of menu pages are possible. Now let's look at how to define your pages. This example shows seven different menus in the menu page navigation. And this shows 10 different menu buttons in the menu page navigation. So before we create buttons for your menu pages, you'll need to set up whichever menus you need in the page section on the top right. To create a new menu page, click the drop down and select Create New. The Edit Page menu will appear. Simply type the name of the menu into the New Page Name field and select the Change Name button. This will create a new menu page with that name. Once you've made as many pages as you need, you'll need to set up buttons to match the menu pages. To create a new menu button, use your mouse and left click in any blank space on the top two rows. A new button will appear. Then, in the button text box, type in the appropriate button name. In this example, we'll use beverages. In the button type drop down menu, choose page. In the page name drop down, select the page that will show when this button is clicked. You can also use the color palette to set the menu button's color, and use the size buttons to expand and shrink your selection. The width and height of your navigation buttons depends on how many pages you need. Also, keep in mind that if a button does not have enough room to expand, either one or both of the expand buttons will not be selectable. And if the button has reached its minimum height or width, their corresponding shrink buttons will not be available. To move a button, simply click and hold and drag it to the new desired location. The new location must have enough room to fit it in. Once you've set up all your menu buttons, you'll be ready to set up your menu items.